Now, from the station on your side, you're watching Wavy News 10. This morning, former President Trump faces more charges for alleged efforts to overturn the 2020 presidential election. This time, a grand jury in Georgia indicted him. The defendants engaged in a criminal racketeering enterprise to overturn Georgia's presidential election result. This morning, former President Trump faces more charges in Georgia for alleged efforts to overturn the 2020 presidential election. We'll have the details on what's next for the former president and his response to the charges. Plus, a hearing in the Richneck Elementary School shooting. The mother of the Richneck shooter, Deja Taylor, is entering a plea today. Tonight, on your sides, Kamaria Bray is at the courthouse with new details on this case. Then we also have new details in a fire in Kill Devil Hills that killed three as investigators work to piece together what happened early Friday morning. And here's a live look from Tower Cam 10 as we start off your Tuesday morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome to Wavy News 10 today. I'm Katie Collette. And I'm Aisha Tolliver. Thank you so much for joining us on our new set. We made it, folks. As always, <laughs> our Madison Pierman is keeping an eye on your roads this morning. Yeah, we're pretty happy today. Maddie's going to have a first check of the roads in just a minute. But first, meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler joins us now in the Super Doppler 10 Weather Center. Jeremy, I thought I was going to melt yesterday. What's today going to hold? Well, uh, today's going to be worse. <laughs> it's just, we, we, no, uh, no sugar coating. Yeah, let's take a look at it. We've got uh, a heat advisory in effect for part of the area, and we actually have something a little bit more than that. So let's uh, use this graphic here, and uh, we got an excessive heat warning that just came in from the National Weather Service, and so this is an effect for Northeast North Carolina. That's where the heat index will be between 110 and 113 for the heat advisory criteria. That's about 100 up to 108, so it's going to be very hot and humid before some storms arrive and maybe cool us down. Right now there's a couple spotty showers up there around uh, almost to the northern neck, but not quite. Hampton Roads is quiet, but later today we're also going to have some strong to severe storms. We got a much better shot of that today than yesterday. We got a slight risk for severe heavy downpours, strong gusty winds will be the main threat. And so uh, we are going to see some storms later today. We'll hit the mid 90s before that happens. That heat index, it'll be up there. A lot more to talk about, a lot more details on all this. I'll have it coming up in just a bit. Now, Madison Pierman's in with a look at morning traffic. Thank you, Jeremy. Right now, we're taking a look at that good old Midtown Tunnel. Right now, traffic's moving along just fine. But keep in mind, yesterday, we did have a bit of an issue as far as that single lane closure goes, right? Right now, though, that's not the case. You're still able to get fine, get by, no issues at this rate. Berkeley Bridge, friends, we do have two scheduled lifts. We'll talk about that in just a moment. But keep in mind, we're going to have another single lane closure today as you're working from Portsmouth on into Norfolk. And that's going to be from 930 to 3 today. So a little bit shorter than yesterday. Still happening, though, at that critical time. Right now, we do have two scheduled Bridge lifts. First one's going to be at nine. That second one is going to be at one o'clock this afternoon. Aisha. Madison, thank you very much. Continuing coverage this morning, former President Donald Trump has been indicted on felony charges in connection with efforts to overturn the 2020 presidential election results in Georgia. It is the fourth criminal case brought against the former president and the second this month to allege he tried to interfere with the results of the vote. The 41 count indictment means several others as well. That includes Trump's lawyer Rudy Giuliani and his former White House chief of staff Mark Meadows. You're watching Wavy News 10 today with Katie Collette, Asia Tolliver, meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler, and Madison Pierman with traffic. Searching for answers, investigators are working to figure out what led up to three homes going up in flames in Norfolk. Right, crews arrived on Granby Street after 5 o'clock Monday morning. In less than 90 minutes, firefighters got the flames under control. While no one was hurt, fire officials say the house was struck by lightning last week. The cause of this fire remains under investigation.